Yes, hello guys, welcome back to another edition of Sports Update Ghana. Coming up in this edition, Ghana's under 17 side, the Black Starlets, came from behind to draw 4 4 with Saudi Arabia in their friendly match that was played today, Thursday, far away at the Jeddah Stadium. And we have all the updates here on Sports Update Ghana. Before we get into it, though, please subscribe to the channel like share and don't forget to leave a comment now let's get right into the details and unfortunately the ghana football association were unable to bring us uh, videos of the black starlets match against saudi arabia in their second leg of the friendly match that they played well the black starlets defeated saudi arabia by three goals to two in the first leg of the friendlies and today they took on the saudi arabian side in their second friendly match in a game that ended 4-4 it was a very tough game as the black starlets came from behind to draw in this particular encounter before we get into it though let's check out the starting lineup of the black starlets as they face saudi arabia in this particular encounter coach karim zito made a few changes to the team that played against saudi arabia in the first leg on sunday in goal post was mohammed bashiru and in defense, we had Ajete Teofilos in Sian Richmond, Ali Uma and Fatao Ganiu making up the defenders. In midfield, we have Asamadu Ramsey, Emmanuel Ajiman, Mante Samuo, Gadase Andy Prince, as well as Nyaba Dennis and Abdullah Ibrahim. Unfortunately, Ghana star boys, that is Benjamin Chivano, as well as Deborah Bosman and Hamon Peter, who have been very, very good in the Black Starless starting lineup were on the bench for this particular encounter well the match started with the saudi arabian side dominating the match then as early as the 10th minute it was nawaf al bisher who scored the first goal for saudi arabia in the game eight minutes later the saudi arabian striker scored the second goal to get his brace in the match it was Nawaf Al Jadani, who scored the third goal for Saudi Arabia, two minutes after Ghana had considered their second goal to make it 3 0 in favor of Saudi Arabia. Then, in the 29th minute, it was again Nawaf Al Bishir who scored his third goal of the match to make it 4 0 in favor of Saudi Arabia. By just 29 minutes, Ghana had considered four goals in the game and it was now our Bishara who scored a hat-trick against the Black Starlet in this particular encounter. Well, the Black Starlet of Ghana were able to pull one back in the first half as the game ended 4-1 after 45 minutes of action. Later on in the second half, the Black Starlet came back to score three goals and they were able to get back into the game to restore parity as the match ended 4-4 between the two sides. So the goal scorers for the Black Starlet in the game were all substitutes as Asamadu Ramsey scored one goal and Deborah Bosman also scored one goal. But it was Hamon Fifi Peter who scored a brace. Yes, he scored two goals in the game and guess what? After Hamon Fifi Peter scored his two goals he was shown a red card in the 84th minute so that was how it ended between the black starlet of ghana versus saudi arabia 4-4 it all ended and the first leg ended 3-2 in favor of ghana so when you add all ghana ended up beating saudi arabia by 7-6 in the two friendly matches that was played over there in saudi arabia so that was how it ended well the good news is that the black starlets of ghana are yet to lose a game since they started this campaign of playing friendly matches they went to the uefa and assisting tournament and they beat the likes of spain they beat the likes of serbia and they managed to get uh, one also over um switzerland so the black starlets of ghana are yet to lose a game in about Five matches and it is quite impressive for coach Karim Zitu's side with Lai Kingston being the assistant coach. The team, as I said before, did not qualify for the under-17 AFCON, so they've been keeping themselves busy with this kind of 
friendly matches. The Ghana Football Association has also been able to secure a memorandum of understanding with the Saudi Arabian Football Federation to be able to nurture more talent and also share uh, resources by playing friendly matches and also ensuring that the two uh, countries are able to learn knowledge from uh, gain knowledge from each other in terms of football saudi arabia are bent on developing sports in their country so they want to get football countries to uh, partner with so that they can develop their game over there in that particular country so we'll see the ghana women's side also travel to go and play saudi arabia in the friendly matches as part of the agreement between the ghana football association and the saudi arabian football federation well, so yes this is by way of update for you guys here on sports updates ghana let me know your thoughts in the comment section what you make of the updates that i brought to you until then my name is joseph adamafio thanks for doing the watching please subscribe like share and don't forget to leave a comment